hey guys have you ever felt that you love art that you would love to learn more and more but there's something inside you telling you that you're talented you can't do it it's not for you if that's the case please 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 watch this video because this is exactly what you need to hear I am a full-time artist and I have been teaching for over 20 years children and adults and I have come across this so many times that's why I feel so passionate about this question and the situation is my children's class is finishing and parents come in to pick their kids up and they look at the works of their kids and they look at all the art materials and they want to touch everything, to look at everything. They're so excited, their eyes light up, they compare colors. They... And so I can see that this person could really benefit and would really love to do an adult class. So I approach them and let them know that, you know what, I also run adult classes. Would you like to join a class? And do you know what I get as an answer? Oh. I would love to, you know, I always loved art, but I don't have the talent. Oh, but how did you decide that you don't have the talent? Oh, you see, when I was in high school, my teacher told me that um, I don't have the talent for art. I can't draw or paint. Right. And since then, have you tried anything? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, as I said, I'd love to, but I just, I just don't have the gift. So today I would really like to look at this because I feel so passionate about this situation where I can see a person, I can see their eyes light up. I can see that this can become such a big part in their life and yet they're putting these borders, you know, without trying things. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to look into this a little bit more so perhaps you can find yourself in this situation. And another thing, it doesn't have to be only about art. It can be about anything, a sport, any kind of hobby, cooking, anything. So please watch this and please pass this on to anyone who you think is in a similar situation. Because I really do believe that this will make people look at their life and reassess themselves and perhaps feel a little bit freer. To engage in different things. Okay, so let's deconstruct the situation by looking a little bit closer at different things that could bring you to the position where you feel that you're not talented enough and therefore you don't want to try anything. For example, when you were young, as I said in the example with one of the parents, perhaps a teacher told you this. Why did they tell you this? Maybe they just had a bad day you know maybe their their husband or their wife told them they're leaving them so therefore for the rest of that week month however long it gets them to get over it they'd be going around telling people nasty things and you just happen to be that day in their class and they told you that you can't draw so there you go going through the rest of your life believing that you can't do anything another situation your schoolmates told you that oh you can't draw you draw ugly why did they say that well maybe they were jealous maybe they were just teasing you you know a lot of the times people go through life throwing things here and there and not even realizing that it can affect someone for the rest of their life you know that line gets into your brain and it just becomes there like a staple and it sits there and it's so hard to get rid of it and it can be about anything as well not just about art it can be about sport it can be about what you look like anything another situation that happens that i have seen happen as well when parents put their children down i don't know what it is it can be a cultural thing it can be just you know some people don't like to brag so therefore when someone says oh your child is so talented they do so well and whatever it is they're doing the parent goes oh <laughs> oh no no you know they're not good enough like they are one leg is shorter than the other so <laughs> no they'll never be a runner you know i mean it's just all for fun that can impact 
the child who is hearing this from someone they're trusting. Another situation, you're a little bit older, you get a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and guess what? They find that you like art, you're into this, but they want to put you down somehow. I don't know, different reasons. I mean, it can be a narcissist who is just who's just trying to make themselves look better by putting you down. And guess what? If you love art, that would be the perfect thing. So reassess where you've heard this, who told you this, and see that perhaps there are other reasons why they did this. Do you know how many famous, extremely talented people that were told when they were younger that they're dummies and that they are not talented, including Tchaikovsky, you know, that everyone thinks is an absolute magnificent um, creator. When he was young, he, his teacher told him, told his parents actually that, you know what, your boy is not very good at music. He just doesn't get it. So perhaps a different career path would work for him better. There you go. And it brings me to the, my next point. Uh, another point of why you might feel that you are not talented enough. Perhaps none of these things happened to you in your youth, so you decide, right, I always loved art and I want to join an art class. You know, my friends go into this night art class and I'm going to do this as well. Or maybe it's a course you find online, you know. How great! Oh my God, there's this beautiful picture. I'd love to follow along and paint this. You show up, you're excited. There's, you know, say it's a live drawing class. There's a model and you start to draw, paint. And then you look around and you realize that not only do you not understand some of the instructions that the teacher is giving in the class, you also see that it looks like everyone else is doing better than you and while everyone else is just looks so amazing your one is kind of a and you sort of feel got it you know you feel like it's a punch in the guts and you go like oh i'm just not talented i'm not as talented as all these other people here i mean they're so amazing i just i just don't compare can this be the situation but you do have to realize that you can't just jump in into anything on any level just like cooking just like ice skating anything you learn you need to start from from the basics and then slowly work your way up if you don't do this you will end up stuck in a situation where you feel useless where you compare yourself to others and you just it just doesn't work so it kind of takes the wind out of your sail. It has nothing to do with you not being talented, but everything to do with just not starting on the right step. So rather than here, you're trying to jump up there. Take it slowly, and when you're in that situation, you will probably find that you're doing better than most of these people. Until you give it a try, you don't know. And that brings me to another thing why you might feel that you just don't have the talent for art as you are going through the gallery for example and then you see an artist paint and you look at how they just pick one color up they mix it on the palette with another color and then it turns this strange shade and they pick it up from the brush and they put a couple of brush strokes here and there and the whole thing just comes to life and you look at it and you think oh my god i could never do that that means I'm not talented. I don't have the talent for art because, I mean, that guy, like, did you see? I wouldn't even think of picking up those colors, mixing them, and then putting them there. So therefore, I'm not talented. I don't have the talent. The thing that a lot of people, for some reason, don't realize that art, again, just like anything else, like playing a musical instrument, no practice, no lessons, pick up a violin and just... That doesn't happen, you know? I mean, you can pick up a violin and then everyone's gonna go. Same thing in art. You need to train, train, learn, practice, practice, practice. That person that you are comparing yourself to, 
maybe had 20 years of experience, maybe more. And you have had maybe few classes, you know, or, so, or maybe even nothing. So how can you say that you are not talented when you are comparing completely different things? You can't compare them. It doesn't work like this. So if this is something that's stopping you from trying something, you know, from doing something that you always wanted to do, always wanted to learn, then this is not something that should be stopping you. Another issue, and at first glance it might seem like a real issue of why you are not talented and you're not meant to be doing art, and that's colorblindness. I love art, but I'm colorblind, so I can't, I can't paint. How is that an issue? Okay, you're colorblind. There are so many ways to unleash your creative talent where you don't even engage in using colors. Drawing, ink, pen, you know, monochrome art. Um, sepia sketches you, you you can create so many beautiful things without using the colors or perhaps you can go for color and you can show your vision of the world which is unique sculpture you can go into 3d art photography how can you stop yourself I mean there are artists they can't hold their brushes they have to use their mouths you know, foot and mouth artists, and they create amazing artworks. That's just another example of if you have this in you, don't let anything get in the way. Go for it. You will feel so great about doing it. So now that we went over a few things of why you might feel that you're not talented, let's look at things of how you can tell that you are talented, that you have a thing for art. Do you find yourself looking at paintings, drawings, sculptures, whatever it is that you're really into, and when you look at them, you want to study more and you want to find out why this effect happened and how was that paint built up in the... This is a really big tick in the direction of you do have a talent, perhaps you need to try it out. You doodle, you draw something. Just when you, I don't know, having a cup of coffee or when you're on the phone, you know, just sitting there scribbling. How does that make you feel? Does that make you feel relaxed? Or does that make you feel anxious and nervous and kind of like irritated? If you are irritated by doing something like this, probably it's not your thing. But if on the other hand, you do feel relaxed, and you feel like you are getting some kind of a pleasure out of it, again, maybe this is something that you need to investigate. Maybe this is something that you're going to really love. Or maybe you feel that, you know, I'm trying to do this, but now I really want to learn how to do this other thing as well. Now that's a really good big sign saying that you have the talent. You know, take it next step up. Are you aware that when you are practicing something, that process sucks you in? You want to just keep going and going and going and the time flies by. You thought you've only been doing this for 20 minutes, you look at the time, it's been three hours. Does that happen to you? If it does, big good sign, you need to spend more time you need to find courses, classes, something, maybe community where you, can, where you can discuss those techniques and things with other people. I hope you guys realize how glad I am that you are here. It means that you've listened to the video till the end, which tells me that this topic is important to you, that this topic resonates with you somehow, or maybe it's about someone you know. So please, please, let me know in the comments if you for example been in that situation maybe there's something else that happened to you that made you believe that you weren't talented in something just for you to find out later that you were maybe you've seen this happen to someone else 
like a friend that you know would be great at dancing but someone told them they have two left feet and that's that please write it in the comments i would love to hear more stories and i'm sure that other people who would be reading these comments they would love to hear about them as well maybe you overcame something like this yourself please please share so thank you very much for watching this give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't i hope you guys go for it i hope you give those things a try i hope you reassess and reevaluate um you know your mindset and and i hope that you have a lovely day and thank you so much for watching this video see you next time